Knowing that China is preparing to attack Taiwan, why is it smart to invest in Tesla when they actively build infrastructure in China? Ooh, can I, can I have a spin on this one? You can have a spin, Carlos. Go for I it. think Chris should answer this question, but as Vitaly. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's like, can I make the shot? He's like, yeah. <laughs> what are you he talking it about? Chris, and he says to give it to Vitaly to pass it back to Chris. No, what I'm saying is I think it'd be fun to see um, Chris answer this question in, as Vitaly would. As and, and Johnny, what's your question? Put your question. Yeah, Johnny, seriously, because he's he's a long time. He's a long yeah, Johnny, time we love you. Put your okay. question in. All right. So what do you want Chris to do? You want him to dress up Wait, like Vitaly? Uh, hold on. Before that, I thought you were putting on people like just randos. Uh, you know, you were just one day a week. That was one day a no, week. No, one day a week. Every Wednesday. Every oh, Wednesday. I. You know, I thought that's okay. You could do one or two a day. It's mm -hmm. fine. I'm down to. It's just I thought maybe it makes a little more special. We do it one day a week, but I'm down to do it every every day. Like last time. No, if, if, if we have time. Show, if we have right? time. Okay. It's a good so, five minutes. So you know? let me answer this as Vitaly real, uh, real quick. Okay. <laughs> Which, right. which means, Chris, you have no, but let me answer that's Chris. You know what? Weight Watchers really <laughs> plays no, a would, role here. He would, I think. He would tie it back. You know he would tie has back. infrastructure, and infrastructure is, is like buildings, and buildings, well, SLG, they have a lot of buildings. Uh, and well, SLG, you know, he, 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 listen, like, listen, listen Tesla, on, he, Tesla, Tesla's, they're just going to build everything with my inverters, inverters. Micro inverters <laughs> are the future. Like, he's gonna be when like, you have oh, a Tesla car, right. you, just, okay. you guys don't understand. Everything's going to roll out solar. Like, come on, guys. You, you guys don't see it in like 2023. Well, there's gonna be like 50 million inverters. Do you know? I talk oh that way? Oh my god! Oh my god! Like, yeah, inverters, like, man. Inverters micro are the inverters future. Are, everyone knows micro inverters are rocket proof. <laughs> it's it's come on, come on. Everyone just knows. Like, am I am I am I crazy here for thinking that inverters aren't the future? Come on, inverters, ECA guys. is a high quality inverter. Oh, right. Laugh, laugh now, Chris. No, laugh, laugh. Face. Are they more, high quality more rocks? <laughs> All right, I'm no, gonna and, answer the question. And then Carlos, That's Carlos so would answer it. If Carlos had to answer this question, he'd be like. Taiwan just needs FSD. If they have FSD, everything's solved. If they have FSD, there's no problem. FSD okay, so we're doing that. Everyone answers to somebody else. How would I answer this, Vitaly? Thirty seconds. How would I answer? You'd this? be like, well, the company that has Palantir is the only one that's going to be able to get the software. You need the data and the philosophical mission to understand why China is attacking Taiwan. Because without it, that's without it, you can't win. <laughs> Therefore, the heart he is the answer. He would have said Palantir is. If they had Palantir, then they would have told them not to build anything in in uh, china right 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 <laughs> oh my god can uh, someone actually answer the question <laughs> wait it's a good question why the hell is china and tesla thank in china? you kelly you got i've been practicing the hair swoop the the, the hair swoop. Little philosophical. you did a, that was a great i think that was the best one. <laughs> oh, well, okay so let, let me just do a quick answer what i think and then carlos probably has an elon love thing happening so he can answer yeah, the yeah, different that, that's ways so that's but, so <laughs> the the way I'm going to answer it is that basically, look, they're diversifying and across the whole world. Their European factory, Gigafactory in Germany. They have Texas. They have uh, California. They're building a new one. Where was it? It doesn't in, answer uh, anything about China. Please answer. It does question. answer it because they're diversifying across the whole world. So if one thing goes rich. down, right, the whole right. thing, the whole operation does not. Just Apple, like on the other hand, like having the whole operation goes burgers. down. Right, Vitaly? Just like having if an, And if they had in a couple of inverters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, okay, I think so your answer is diversification. That's it, Vitaly? That's a, that's a, that's a great answer. fucking answer. I don't no, know that's not a great about. answer. Chris, can we get a better answer? Chris, why are they doing this? Go ahead, Chris. I agree with Vitaly. That's exactly <laughs> right. They're, they're diversifying their supply chain. If China says, yeah, oh, we don't want course. you to sell Teslas tomorrow... Okay, big deal. We'll close our stupid factory. We'll sell to the rest of the world. No, no, no. no but I don't you. think you guys are getting to the heart of the. The reason this question is so important is because let's say 99% China invades Taiwan, and that's at least what China, Taiwan believes. We know this is happening. Why is Tesla, Apple's getting this out of China? This Why affects, is Tesla going into they're China? not out of China. They're nowhere out of China. They're, that they're would affect Apple way more. Okay. And, and China, Nvidia. Exactly. I was just going to say, it, I mean, we went through this before. China, when China closed down, so many other companies realized how vulnerable they were having all of their supply chain in China, and they've already taken the steps to mitigate that. So actually, of, yeah. I'm sorry, get, no, go ahead, Chris. No, I'm saying that's one of the bull cases of Intel, which is they're building their foundries outside of Taiwan. So much of the infrastructure for semiconductors right now is broadly in Taiwan. So now people are saying, well, look, even though we are going to put an order out to TSMC to build half of the demand that we need, we're also going to give half of that demand to Intel because we want to make sure that we have a supply chain of things that are coming our way just in case China acts like a shithead. So I think diversification is what everyone's doing. I think I'm actually bullish on Mexico because of that, because I'm I, the people that I've spoken to 
have pretty much said everyone is nearshoring right now. They're moving their production facilities out of China. Yeah. They're moving them a little bit closer so they don't have to deal with the geopolitical risks of even blockades in the in the Pacific. That's the other thing. China could fuck us over by let's say you have a factory in Malaysia and you need to import shit into into the US, right? And China's like, you know what? We are going to create sanctions around mm -hmm. Malaysia and they control the South China Sea. You know how big of a problem that is? getting products out of there. Yeah. yeah. So you need to diversify your supply chains to make sure that they're closer to home. So especially with critical infrastructure stuff like semiconductors and chips, you need that to run a, uh, an economy right now. If you don't have those, you need that for defense. You need that for general economy stuff. Yeah. So a lot of critical mm -hmm. industries are moving and that's probably one of the reasons why we're seeing such a strong um, labor market right now with a lot of people moving production back to the U.S. The U.S. is incentivizing also a lot of production at home, like the CHIPS Act. The CHIPS Act is literally a carve out so that they build production here in the U.S. And the IRA. Even if it means, yeah, for the solar, IRA. For, yes, yeah. for all that stuff, EVs, batteries. Yep. Can, I, I, can I make like two, two opposing arguments or not arguments, but yeah, potential arguments because I don't know how it would go. Um, I could see it being both good or bad for Tesla. So they're preparing to attack um, Taiwan. Why is it smart to invest in Tesla? Number one, it depends on what the narrative around that is, right? If um, since since Tesla is is heavily invested, if if the narrative around it is China bad, right? And any company that's heavily invested in China that's bad. So it's, it's going to affect um, Tesla because a lot of their sales c comes out of that comes out of that factory at least until the other ones ramp up. The way that it could be good for Tesla is because if China's in the middle of a war, that could tank the the um, the EV stocks out of yes. China. So, yes. And so, right. And so, where does that money go? Yes. To Tesla. So, but the, the Chinese investors will want to invest overseas. So this is why it's like you don't freaking know until the shoe drops. Anyone with any real money right now is taking their money and putting it into the U.S. and Canada. Like Larry, one of the reasons why we've had such stock, dude, I would not yeah. have wanted to be a neo stock investor yeah. because it had nothing no. to do with what the company's doing. It's the CCP. So man, and they're, and they're down like seven bucks now. And yeah. ET FaceTime is right. China's in the middle of a democratic uh, de demographic collapse that we're gonna. Yeah. See so that. so I think a lot of people, especially among, uh, even among China. They're taking their assets, they're moving them overseas because they know that with these communist regime, you know, if you fall out of favor, they'll disappear your ass. Like, look at what happened to Jack Ma. You can't do business in a country like that. <laughs> right. You know? And he was one of the most powerful people. The dude disappeared. Yeah. Man. Yeah. He's anyway, gone. And, um, uh, I got one of, I one of the get greatest going, entrepreneurs though. in China. Just gone. Yeah. And uh, by the way, so the answer it was diversification. Thank you very much. You, you muted yourself. Yeah, he wow. muted himself. <laughs> Thank God. After hearing you three times explained in eloquent ways, I, I have come to the conclusion that uh, the answer is sufficient enough for me to feel that. that okay, did a good moving job. on. Next. No, we're done. The podcast is okay. done, Vitaly. We have to end the podcast. <laughs> Vitaly has, right, Vitaly has spoken. It's over. It's a wrap. We're all moving on. So uh, let, let, let me just do a quick uh, minute of sign-offs. First of all, uh, it's Thursday night, so we're ending the weekly version of the podcast. We'll be back Sunday. 9 p.m. Eastern. A uh, couple things I want to say for this week. This is, I think, our like fourth week of doing this in a row. This is the first time we've averaged 300 a day. Uh, means a lot. It's very important to us. Me, uh, it, it's it's really cool. We, we can't we, in our group chat. We're constantly talking about how we don't even believe this is real. Um, not to get super dramatic about it, but it is. You know, it's a really cool thing because this could grow and it could get really big. And it's cool to see some progress and momentum there. And we're trying to be consistent to maintain it. When you guys gonna... over, when you guys from overseas make comments that you listen to us on the way in. To work, I grew up. I grew up, and when I was in my early twenties, I grew up in like a work van, driving to work, listening to like Howard Stern and Howard like Stern, baby. in the morning. To think that, like, to think that these it's right. these guys, like us, that's that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. And, and have it, and, and cause I'm so happy you said that. I I I I said I was gonna do this, but I forgot. Please comment where you're from right now. Where are you watching? What state are you oh in? Oh my god, he's country? doing the AOL APEX location check. <laughs> no, no, it's gonna be insane when you see yeah, the different locations. Before the you morning. do that, though, just go to the Twitter, subscribe to all our Twitter stuff. Yes. Go to our channel, subscribe to that, and hit like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Yes. It's been a while. We and speaking of now. which, speaking of which, the you know we've we've been trying to build the uh, freelancer finance up to the the minimum 500, 500 followers so follower follow threshold them. i looked at your your admit you're at ten thousand subs unbelievable chris three thousand unbelievable you guys deserve everyone just trying to get to the 500 and like been doing a real we are now three followers away oh damn three followers oh, away from hitting 500. Three followers. if we it. can get three more followers we can then apply for 
um, for, I guess, monetization or to be able to have subscribers. And then 20 years when we're finally approved, we can do <laughs> our first Twitter spaces in the metaverse, I guess. Yes. Uh, so uh, please, yes. Follow us. Please follow them on Twitter. A couple more things I have to say. Timestamps, a big addition to the podcast. I think we figured out a good method for it. I know it's going to help a lot of you. We just crossed, uh, I just checked Thank the analytics. We, we passed 4K on the last ones. Thank you all. We passed 4K on that last one. And then final thing I was going to say is, oh, the StreamYard thing yesterday was surreal. I mean, seeing people who are on their couch chilling with a beer and they, we're on their TV. I mean, you know what's so crazy to me? Saturday morning, you remember you woke up and you saw Cartoon Network and there were cartoons? Mm -hmm. on saturday morning like or, or like in the night or whatever and we show up on people's nighttime like we're their late night talk show which is yeah. insane it's just is congratulations you guys just hit 500 oh my god oh my god we did it there we go there we go there we, we did it. it oh my god I, what i want is a picture oh. of so you we guys. appreciate you all thank you all for that Easy. what i want before we end is a picture of uh you guys post-coital watching freelancer finance <laughs> 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 Like, babe, freelance finance is on. We gotta wait. Okay, let dude, me. We were, up. we were competing against uh on, on against a Warriors game, dude. Oh yeah. Well, this is somebody the... somebody was posting updates. Did you see that? They were like, yeah, oh, the they Lakers are getting cool. smacked. That was awesome. But the fact that you guys we got three hundred people while the Warriors and Lakers are on that's a big deal. Let me read this off. Canada, Texas, in South Africa, up at four a.m. Four a.m. California, Denver, Oregon, Seattle, Illinois, Washington, California, what? Michigan, Arizona, the Moon. <laughs> you buy a pound here, baby, you'll be there. Uh, Detroit, Tennessee, Hong Kong, amidst basement, of course. North Korea, yeah, definitely. North uh, Korea. <laughs> Hawaii, Canada, San that's, Diego, that's Mexico, it. California, uh, UK in GA. Um, yeah. uh, Australia. Georgia. I, yeah. Oh, Georgia, that's in Georgia, yeah. I'm here, I'm at work. I just got in here to like the video, I'll watch the replay in the morning, and you'll have time stamps raised. I appreciate it for that. New Jersey, Florida, Dallas, Toronto, Massachusetts, Colorado, uh, Florida, Damn. Philippines. California, wow. Taiwan, Florida, Indiana, uh, France, Richmond, Virginia, Atlanta, Georgia, Canada, uh, nice. Michigan, West Virginia. It's just in Singapore, Colorado. It's insane. <laughs> this Kansas, is crazy. Colorado. That's crazy. It's that's insane. awesome. Cool shit. That, that, that's the power of YouTube and networks. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And, and, and but it's also the power of consistency. And I believe in the content game, you got to be it more is everything you got to be part of someone's habits. Uh, it's the power of actual authentic friendships and actually giving a shit about each other. And it's the power of having a little 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 lightning in the bottle magic of just being able to talk and hopefully we have something it's not proven yet we got to do this for many months for this to be solidified, which is why I ring the bell when we hit 300. But I've talked to three people live before. And I've talked to 300. And 300 feels a lot better than mm -hmm. three. Only because you guys are here. So. Nice callback to that, Amit. And with that, we're out. We're done. Better. We'll see you guys Sunday. Thank you all. Good night.